Hey guys, I just have a really quick video for you right now. This was actually a question that was asked in one of the Facebook groups and I made them a quick video just to explain how to do it and I figured there might be more people that this would be helpful for so I wanted to go ahead and post it here as well. So this is just how to do a quick partial cutout in Canva. So it really consists of like two steps. It's super, super easy but the look is super elevated and I think that it's a really great way to add some snazzy design elements to your yearbook or your newspaper or your student publication or really whatever you're doing. Um, so this is just the two examples we're gonna do. The first is a headshot, and then the next is more of an action shot, a little bit more yearbooky, like you might have a swimmer. So basically, um, you need your document to be larger than your actual photo. So don't just upload the photo and open that. Um, actually have a document or a canvas that is bigger than the file that you're needing it to be. You can create a custom document. Sometimes if I don't really know where I'm gonna have it or how big I need it, I'll just make an eight and a half by 11 letter size document and drop it on there because then I know when I export it, it'll be big enough and high enough resolution. The, the first step to making Canva work for your yearbook is setting up the document correctly. So that's super important. You can always edit that and switch over, but you wanna set it up right from the first time. Um, the other thing you'll need for this is Canva Pro. So if you don't already have your free Canva Educator account, be sure to do that because that will get you the features you need, the background remover to be able to do this. So the first thing you're gonna have is your photo. Just upload it directly into Canva, drop it onto your canvas, and then you're going to duplicate it. So once you click on it, you can click on these two little uh, files right here and that'll duplicate it right there. You can also copy and paste it, control C, control V, however you are comfortable. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and do a background remover on this. So under edit photo, you're gonna hit BG remover and it'll take a second depending on your internet connection it might take a couple of seconds and you're going to have one version as you can see the background where the background is still there and the top one where the background is removed all you're going to do is line them up so you're going to do that where they snap together those pink lines will pop up and actually just put them together because they're still the same size photo or you can go to position and under arrange, the middle and the center will bring both of their middles and centers together. They're grayed out right now because they're already aligned, but if I moved it and then I selected both of those, if I select center and middle, it will align them together. And then you can move those back to the center of the document if you want to, that doesn't really matter so much. Then you need to be able to select the background photo, not the foreground, the top one. So if you click on it once, you're gonna select that top photo, which has the background removed. So we, I just like to make that one a little bit smaller. I like to kind of just pull in where those edges are because they're clear anyway. It doesn't really matter. You don't need to see them. Um, oh, I don't want to move myself. I want to move this. Let me make myself smaller. Um, so we're going to drag those corners in right there and then you can click and select the background photo. Um, you can also access them by going to position and then under where you have a range of uh, the next tab is layers. You can also click on them that way but I just like to be able to click on everything kind of like in the document. Um, and then you can create your partial cutout. So you can drag this down and kind of have her head popping out. You can drag this off to the side and have her coming out of the box entirely. This photo is like super simple because it has such a simple background, but maybe you have something busier here and you have the arm or the football catching the you know, moment or something kind of jumping out of the photo. It is a really dynamic look and I think it makes your layout just look like it's kind of jumping out off the page, which is really cool. Um, just to show you that one more time, swim is a hard one to do a cutout on because they're in the water, like, so it's not like you have the edge of someone's body to do the cutout with, um, but it still works. So again, we're going to duplicate it. For this, I'm just going to do control C, control V, go back to edit photo, BG remover, background remover. You see you have his du duplicating arm right here. I'm going to go and align them perfectly so you can't really see that cutout. I'm going to reduce the size of the top photo, which is the one that has the cutout that has the clear background and then when I reduce the size of the background photo you can see him popping out of not only the water but of the photo itself too so there's lots of uses for this this is just two really quick examples but I thought it would be helpful to show you the concept of how to do this and then your kids can get really creative with how they implement this in their publication so if you guys have any questions feel free to leave a comment below and I'm happy to make you another video explainer all right see you later bye